as a UI UX designer as well as digital artist doing both made like a good um, money for my head during COVID. But then AI came along and I was like, AI can basically make the digital art that it takes me hours. So it, I am on a losing end of the... So second year you started to code. Then when did you get your placement? So my placement was around like, what's your plan for the future now? Uh so hi everyone. In this video, we have Harshil. You might remember Harshil from the meetup. I'm doing great. But my only struggle is that I work at home, so meeting smarter people is something that I'm struggling with. I get to meet with all DS. You have a very good problem, right? That there is a lot of money, a remote job. Yes. It's a single single deal on Friday. No, I mean... Today we'll be covering his journey of how he got a remote job, why he's so single in life and wanting to co-work from time to time. What was his initial journey, uh, his college learning framework, all that jazz, without any further ado. Harshil, can you give us a brief introduction about yourself? All right. So, hi everyone uh, watching. Uh, my name is Harshil. I'm just like freshly passed out from MSIT Delhi. And I'm currently working as a remote ST intern at High Five, which is a, which is a US-based startup. Uh, working into tipping management systems. And my tech stack is mostly Next.js, AWS, writing test cases, and pretty much all over the place. Got it. You said MSIT, is it? This is a different from NSIT, right? Could you give uh, a brief about your college and everything? Uh, NSIT is like very good college. Mine is uh, tier 2, 215 kind of thing. Like uh, anyone from Delhi would recognize uh, IP University. So it's a college of that only. Um, I would not credit like my success to my college. It's mostly been like personal studies and YouTube only. So, but uh, overall, good bunch of friends I made over there. Uh, it's like more like the college was not good, but the peers that I gained uh, was very smart, ambitious ones. So that helped me very much. Got yeah. it. Let's start from the top. Uh, when did you start to code? So, my coding path was not like. <clears throat> very sida sida. Uh, it is a journey. Uh, I will make it quick and brief. So basically, when I was getting into college, I was like, I don't want to get into the matrix kind of uh, any mindset. I want to do my business. So I got into freelancing. I was good at digital art. I I used to run an Instagram page as hard draws, making digital art, and then I got into freelance uh, as a UI UX designer as well as digital artist. Doing both made like a good um, money for my age during COVID. I was doing well, but then uh, there were two blockers. Firstly, was ki AI came along and I was like, AI can basically make the digital art that it takes me hours. So it, I am on a losing end of the battle, right? And okay. plus with the UI UX also, I could not find myself intrigued by anything because the projects were becoming uh, repetitive to some scale. So Perfect. then I pivoted to coding because I was always a builder. I wanted to build stuff. So. I was like, okay, I know UI UX, let's code the UI UX art. <coughs> so Which what year was this? Second year, uh, end of second year. I was actually late to coding, but heavily what? coded. That was something. So got into done the HTML, CSS, JS from YouTube mostly. Then I got into React learning from uh, your channel, Child Code. Uh, a couple of your uh, videos are good. Namaste React and pretty much all over the place, just learning, grinding stuff really? out. And after that, I learned into, got into backend, so got done with the whole full stack. And this was around like, uh, when my on-campus new gen placement had happened, was so slightly before that. And just as it kept making codes, kept uh, running codes, uh, make, get active onto Twitter. And uh, I was fairly active. Got it. So second year you started to code. Then when did you get your placement, your on-campus placement? So my placement was around like October of uh, last year. It was in uh, Newgen and Accenture. But Accenture is like it will call very late. So there's no point of uh, depending on it. Newgen mm -hmm. happened. Newgen was overall good. Uh, it started actually in this year's January. Uh, it was mostly working on Java, Eclipse. But the problem was I personally I have like, I don't want to code in Java. I know this is a very heavy statement because Java legacy tech stack. Hai, but uh, they were working with Java 13 and right now it's a bit old. So I was like, I, I need to switch and I can't work with like these old folks like who are in 3, 5, 5 years. Se pe, I, I had this little sort of issue. My quality it. goes thick. So I started heavily uh, coding 
एंड हाँ तो एनी वन हु स्ट्रगल्स विद लाइक अप्लाइंग एन एवरी थिंग उसको मैं बताना चाहता हूँ ड्यूरिंग द न्यूज एंड फेस वट आई वुड डू इज सो माई ऑफिस वुड बी अराउंड टेन आई वुड वेक अप अराउंड सिक्स कोर्ट टेल एट एट एंड हाफ सॉरी एट थर्टी और गेट डन विद इट फिर वेन आई वुड बी गोइंग टू माई ऑफिस वाई आ मेट्रो आई वुड स्पेंड दैट टाइम इन स्टेड ऑफ लिस्टिंग टू रैंडम स्टफ और इंस्टाग्राम जस्ट डूइंग लिंक इन ईजी अप्लाई और वट एव काइंड ऑफ अप्लाई गो टू ऑफिस इफ आई हैड सम वर्क गेट द वर्क डन अगर थोड़ा सा भी आई वुड गेट टाइम वॉच सम लेक्चर समथिंग लाइक काफ का बेसिक्स और एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ लेक्चर आई कुड वॉच आई एक्चुअली वॉच ऑल ऑफ योर नेक्स्ट जेस्ट लेक्चर्स इन माई ऑफिस ओनली एंड वेन आई वुड सो वेन आई वुड गेट फ्री फ्राम ऑफिस सो अब ये दिस इज समथिंग आई हैड टू ऑप्शन की एक तो मतलब हर वेरी स्मॉल एट ऑफ पॉइंट कि आई वुड गेटिंग स्टाइप एंड एन यूज एन आउट ट्वेंटी के तो मेरा था कि आई नीड टू स्विच वॉज माई फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी सो आई हैड ऑप्शन कि भाई छः बजे तक रुक के बस लो बट आई वुड लीव एट फाइव बाई ओला बाइक तो आई कुड सेव डैट वन आवर और उसमें भी मैं बाइक में पीछे बैठ के आई वुड कीप अप्लाइंग कीप अप्लाइंग सेंडिंग मैसेजेस फॉर रेफर रेफरेंस रीच होम टेक अ ब्रेक देन कोट टिल एलेवन और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दैट वॉज अ होल टोटल ग्रैंड फेस पिक्स पैट सिक्स वाला पूरा फाइज सो ऑन अ डेली बेसिस आई वुड अप्लाई टू अ गुड फिफ्टी सिक्सटी कंपनीज Got it. And this was for like a good three four months, just Got like heads down totally grinding. Got it. So here is the timeline that I understand. Second year you started to code. Third year end you got your full time offer internship offer at Newgen, and then Jan your last your last semester you started to work at Newgen as an intern. I would assume. Yep. And while you were interning there, even though it was an on-site intern that paid you rupees twenty thousand only, you f- you know somehow figured out a way to learn. Before, after, applied a lot, and you were grinding for around three four months when you were working at New Gen and also learning and also applying together. Yep, yep, great. So now tell me the set of remote offers that you have gotten since. Uh, and are you still working at New Gen or did you leave New Gen finally? Um, so I left New Gen uh, close to end of April. Okay. Well, so just a side note, it's a very fucking sorry. Good feeling to 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 like leave some a place because like at the end, आप सबसे आप मिला जो कि I'm going like permanently going and tell everyone कि हाँ भाई you I have a remote job and everyone just congratulate you like that moment is totally worth it सबसे हाथ मिलाने ने everyone is just looking at you so that is totally worth it so I left it हाँ is this so sorry sorry to interject but is this like a feeling of हर इसका मतलब you know everyone's happy for you okay शुभ शुक्र है ये यहाँ से निकला है you know he found something better is everyone just frustrated in in that office i don't know tell me um some people genuinely enjoy working there but it's like a couple of people they want to sit but they uh, have been in the same company for a, such a long time that they have become so lethargic that they want to sit but they are not like some they are just stuck in this cycle of life that they are not able to switch kind of thing got it got it uh, makes sense very cool continue uh so Uh, two were from LinkedIn only, just teaching out to people, and uh-huh. uh, LinkedIn easy apply or apply in any way through their URL or anything. Uh, one was for a Gurgaon based company, uh, working as a product engineer, basically another name for SD, working into back end and front end for next days and everything. Uh, another one was for a totally remote uh, within India. I think it was a Bangalore based company, uh, working uh, in crypto. So so they wanted a Monstack developer. So I had both these offer, and the third one was actually via Twitter. I was like fairly active on Twitter, just posting what I was building. So the CTO reached out, ki hey, I saw your profile and everything. So I had like three rounds of interviews, and then got the offer. And funny got thing it. is, ki uh, these remote and Gurgaon offer came close to my birthdays on April twenty, and these both came to on the April nineteen. So I had a good birthday. <laughs> nice. That sounds great. Amazing. Yeah. So, which one of these are you finally joining? So I'm. Um, I have joined the remote one as a SW uh, software engineer intern. Got um, it. And the Gurgaon one, uh, I I would be. I'm probably be uh, doing a side kind of freelance kind of small gig kind of thing, but will leave it totally uh, by end of this month. Got it. Makes sense. So you had a few offers. You sort of pick and choose between some of them, and we moonlighted a little bit, and then finally you're d- deciding to go with the SF company. Yep. All right. So this company is uh, founders are from the US or? Ah, uh, they they are native. I uh, mean, they live in US, but like they, how to explain? I mean, they 
you know uh, indian indian only but like when their parents migrated to us so they are like the descendant generation born Got in it. US. first generation immigrants makes sense ah, first um, generation and what was your interview like you said that you had three interviews here could you elaborate on what did they ask so the first round was basically sort of a screening round like like just he wanted to get about to know about me what i have worked on what are my projects and all those kind of stuff showing him my, my projects and everything uh, one good thing that i had done was like i had uh, worked with a team of five six people in college building a attendance yep. management system uh, which is like live for the college managing close to 3000 students so that adds to a proof of work ki you have worked on a real world uh, application so that added credibility the uh, first round went in the same way so he was fairly impressed the next round was actually they did not ask for a uh, dsa it was co- coldly on development skill that you can actually build stuff so second round was all next year they wanted me to build a mailing system basically i enter hershey and the email it sends a email to that person so i uh, used node mailer build the system uh, some core features were left after that uh, he asked me some uh, stuff like Okay, how would you structure the database and everything? Or let's say you want to build an unsubscribe from this email mail letter system. So I mm-hmm. gave him the logic. It was I. I one thing I did was that I made it into a post request, and he explained to me that it should be a get request, which should trigger the uh, web hook or whatever way you want to integrate it. So oh, that round went fine. After that, it was a final interview round. Which was actually not two round thing. It was a system design kind of thing. Where we we talked all over the places about, okay, let's say you want to build a tipping management system. How are you gonna build? What will be the QR or whatever? How are you gonna integrate? Let's say you have images. So how are you we gonna keep those images? And how will you uh, better the runtime and everything? So one good thing that I had done during that interview is that in the previous okay. interview he had asked me to build the unsubscribe feature. I uh-huh. actually built it out and. I did not deploy it, but I had integrated the database and everything, and I even showed him in that interview, uh, in the node mailer, that that mail is being sent and everything. So uh-huh. that like it is like going one step ahead to show that you have competency that you want to get things done, and right. that interview went good as well. Uh, finally, it was basically a cultural fit round, just talking to the founders and everything about uh, unki company ke kya what are my views and how do I want to work. and uh, even in those round so one thing i can say is ki uh, don't be stiff like unka th- uh, they they wanted they were like ki oh you can work in your time uh, we don't want to put pressure on you but i i kind of emphasize no i'm op- actually open to work in your time and honestly even like right now if they pass on some work to me and i, I ask them ki hey i'm basically free on saturday sunday so if you have some kind of ad hoc or small task and then i can flip them up uh, on weekend as well So that's how you show that you actually want to be a part of that ecosystem. Makes a lot of sense. How big is the team now? It's fairly lean. I think it's a ten people team. Got it. Uh, fairly lean uh, because it's basically B two B. So just like uh, a good one tech team is like two to three people, and uh-huh. the other team is basically like uh, going Bill. to the uh, hotel management systems, getting into events and everything. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. To summarize, you said three to four interviews. First interview yep. was just ad hoc, getting to know your projects. Second interview was making you actually code the node mailer, subscribe and yep. subscribe system. Third interview was system design. Most probably, system design was, "Okay, this is our app. How would you build the same app?" And you know the same set of challenges that they are facing. Cool. And then a behavioral interview just to make sure you're a good cultural fit. Three. Yep. Yeah. That, that sounds right. Uh, cool. So. What's your plan for the future now? Are you planning to continue here for how long as an intern, and then when do you convert to full time? Um, it's gonna close in at uh, at the end of August. They are gonna roll out a full time offer. Then I'm gonna be finally working full time with them. And as for my plans, uh, right now I just like want to learn stuff. Honestly, just like abhi, uh, I am done with like next years. Uh, मतलब इसमें भी even uh, working at the startup, my learning has been like. I started with frontend, then learned yeah. AWS DynamoDB S3. Then I wrote playwright test cases for UI testing. Right now, I'm building microservices for Discord and everything. Uh, I also started learning Kafka to integrate those microservices. So just keep learning. And then I, I keep reading and all stuff. How uh, like uh, something I'm integrating like building scalable systems. Abito, I'm reading that book, Clean Code. But mm-hmm. my interest is in like 
being like cracked basically and uh, to summarize in a sing- single word और उसके अलावा तो आई थिंक आई वॉन्ट आ लाइक स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग सम माइक्रो प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ माई ओन प्रोबेबली गेट लाइक रिव्यू बाई यू नो पीयर लिस्ट राइट प्रोडक्ट एंड और समथिंग वो पीपल पुश आउट द प्रोडक्ट्स गेट रिव्यू एंड एवरी थिंग सो डू समथिंग लाइक दैट साउंडिंग नहीं मैंने इसके बारे में नहीं सोचा ठीक है This is great. Thank you so much for sharing everything. And if anyone oh, wants to, ah, मतलब ये कोई ah मतलब जैसे आपसे I I have actually the same question की I'm done with one. I'm done with building basic APIs, mini microservices. But like what next? Good question. Uh, modern तुम्हारे JavaScript में TypeScript में वहाँ पे ये oh sorry TS TS में मतलब ठीक है as modern as it gets हो रखा है मतलब it's <laughs> you are already you have already learned enough. You have a mono repo. You're You're running the deployment pipeline. There is CI/CD. Everything that's Han. We have not handled I think one or two part. These are the things that they will say that this is the tech part. I'm not going to tell you. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. But basically, try to you know make this code base as modern as possible when it comes to the mon stack. If you think you've exhausted the mon stack, up to sabi aaya, then you can do one of two things: either negotiate higher over here, or if you're you know owning everything, or you know freelance, find other companies. This is what I would do basically. You know, if okay, they have a certain paying capacity, then you know. If I have the right skills now, I should probably you know horizontally expand. Um, or if you feel like, nee, I want to you know uh, just get better at some tech, then you know there are niche techs to explore. Yeah, Web three. You know this is the company that you're working at is you know B two B, which you know these companies will stay almost forever. I think B two B SaaS right. or B two B, you know whatever you're building, uh, is going to stay alive and you know something that won't get killed by AI for a long time because you know B two B is very boring. Hotels right. are very boring, so you know right. they always right. stick to companies like these. Um, So True. one thing is keep this. Second thing is for your learning. I would you know, yeah, start learning whatever interests you. So at this point, you know, you have an open field. You said you don't like Java, you hate it. So you know, another language like Rust, if you want to go into Web three, another language like Python, if you want to go into AI. These are one of two paths I would take if I was you. King, ah, uh, I have started learning a, a small basics of Python. Uh, because I think they acquired some product. Ah, uh, it is in Python, so I'm learning Python side by side. ताकि वेन एवर यू हैव टू इंटीग्रेट इट जस्ट टू गेट सम आइडिया ऑफ इट दैट्स ऑल्सो लाइक द राइट प्लान या टीएफ ऑल राइट मेनी इयर्स इन आई आई थिंक सम राइस कैन लाइक सो यू आई आई वाज ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू अ स्टेंटर्स इफ यू हैव एनी टाइम थिंग लेट मी नो एंड या थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग थैंक यू एवरीवन हैव अ गुड डे